Shepard breaking him down to the white line. Knight number one getting ready to go to the green and we are underway. And Shepard on the very bottom, Billy Moyer up top down the main straight away. And Moyer will grab the lead into one. Out in two, Clayton goes to the middle. Down the back straight away, Billy Moyer takes the lead to Knoxville. Billy Moyer leads down the back shoot now. Here comes the 28 and Jimmy Mars to the inside. He'll take a look at the third spot of Clayton. Clayton up on the outside now. Josh Richards as well on the hunt. Three cars battling for third off turn four. Here now on the outside, Clayton team by team behind him. Shepard on the bottom, then Clayton and Mars down. Then we got a turn number two and fourth, and it's Richards at one. Down the back straight away. Shepard down as Billy Moyer pulls away in turn three. Clayton to the inside of B. Shep going into three and four. Right through the middle is Clayton. Here comes Josh Richards on the outside. Now Jimmy Mars looking low. Mars moves by Richards down the front straight away, sets his sights on Clayton. They'll go side by side into turn number two. Now Shepard on the bottom out of turn number two. For the first time in the race, lap driving down the back straightaway. It's Billy Moyer and Brandon Shepard backs up a little bit. Third remains Clint. Clint the run on Shepard into three. Fourth is Richards. Battle for fifth between Mars and Pierce. And meanwhile, oh, Richards on the inside around Shane Clint. He just got by him off at turn number four, but Jimmy Mars doing all he can to hold back Bobby Pierce down into turn one. Nose to tail. Now Mars, two car wins off the cushion in turn number two. Here comes Pierce. He's got a half a car link down the back straight away. Side by side. Mars with the advantage. He'll shut the door going into the inside of turn three. Josh Richards on the bottom of Battle of the Rockets into turn number two. Down the back straight away. B-Chef up top. Her side by side down the back straight away. Meanwhile, Billy Moyer's trying to pull away again as the laps wind down eight to go in Knoxville. Well, it helps him when those guys battle for a second because Moyer is able to maneuver traffic and not have to worry about Shepard, who was reeling him in as Shepard tries to fend off the challenging Richards. Richards goes to the middle, now to the bottom of turn number two, trying to make the move, but not enough. He'll ride the third spot. Shane Flan still running fourth. Now, Jimmy Mars easily rides in the fifth spot as he pulled away from Bobby Pierce in six. Five to go. Billy Moyer having trouble in turn two. Shepard to the bottom. Here they come out of two. Shepard goes across the turn uh, number two, right through the middle. He'll slide to the outside, hit the cushion, heading down the back chute. Now Moyer rolls up behind Marlon. Oh, but Moyer two wheels over the cushion, bobbles. Here comes Richards. Good battle for second as they cut. They reel in the leader off of turn four. Four to go in the one. Billy Moyer, Brandon Shepard on the bottom. Shepard on the bottom in turn number two, trying to make it stick. Down the back straight away. There's three cars in front of your leaders. Here they come, three to go. It's not over yet. B. Shep on the bottom, Tony. Your race is for the lead. In turn number four, Shepard on the bottom, Moyer on the outside. Lap traffic all across the first straightaway. They race into turn one, three wide, and lap traffic ahead of Moyer. Now Shepard, two car lengths back, almost one as they race into turn number two. Shepard on the bottom, but Moyer leads down the back chute. Oh, Moyer caught up in traffic down the front chute. Make the move on Fager on the inside. That might have been the winning group right there. Out of turn number two, Billy Moore, the 58-year-old veteran, born in Des Moines, Iowa. Down the back straightaway. His final year of driving now. Moyer throws the slider in lap traffic, and Billy Moyer is going to do it. He'll win night one in Knoxville, Iowa. Billy Moyer comes home for the win. Well, Billy, you told us the car didn't feel so good in the heat, even though everybody else said it was really good. Would you like to change your statement now? Well, we, it was better there. We, uh, we tweaked on it a little bit and made the right decisions for once, and uh, we've got to figure out that motor deal why it's running a little bit warm, but uh, we'll keep plugging away here, and the, the car was pretty darn good. I, I can't see what's going on behind me there, but um, it, it, I never did really try the bottom at all, but I messed around with the middle and the top, and it, it go there about wherever I wanted to. So we got something to work uh work for for uh, the rest of the week, I guess. With four laps left, you get your right side tires over the cushion down in turn four, and did, were you worried that was going to open the door for somebody to get around you? Yeah, I, uh, I got up over that thing, and I, at first I thought they threw the dry shaft or something out of it. I mean, it raised all kinds of cane under there and kind of vibrated, but I, I guess I just got up in there that heavy and into the loose stuff there. So, uh, you know, and then I got down off of it, and the next lap it felt okay, so I wasn't worried uh, about it then.